Hello, everybody. Uh, hello from Slovenia. Um, well, me and Miran uh, have prepared a short presentation for uh, for everybody that is that has joined uh, this meeting today. I hope it will be uh, contributional and you will learn something from it or just gain some experiences. Okay, um, so my name is Nina Dostinchnik. Uh, my co-worker Miran and I come from a small European country set in the South Central Europe between Italy, Hungary and Croatia. For those of you who haven't maybe heard of Slovenia or uh, you know some small bits about it, well, Slovenia is a really small country. It covers 20,000, only 20,000 square kilometers and has a population of 2 million people. So there are not a lot of us. Uh, well, it's a beautiful country. I, I can make some, uh, I can make a bit of uh, commercial for, for our, our country. If, if you're ever uh, in the neighborhood, you're welcome to visit us and, um, and come and see how beautiful our country is. Well, uh, the Slovenian archival network uh, consists of seven archives. Well, me and Miran, we work at the regional archives in Maribor which is the second biggest regional archival institution in Slovenia. Uh, our service or archival service covers almost one quarter of Slovenian territory. And uh, as I said, I will just briefly present the, the archival service in Slovenia and Miran will continue with more IT uh, matters. Uh, well, as I, as I said before, this is the shape of Slovenia. You can see that it is shaped like a chicken. So uh, everybody, it, it's kind of a, a, a landmark, uh, but okay. The Slovenia archival network consists of seven uh, public archival institutions. So the, the central institution, which is, which is operating under the Ministry of Culture is the archives of the Republic of Slovenia. And they keep records created by state administration uh, at the highest level and also the film archives. The regional archives, so the one being the, reg the regional archives Maribor where we work, uh, regional archives are independent public institutions and they each cover their own uh, competent area. Uh, there are six regional archives in Slovenia, the historical archives in Ljubljana, the regional archives Maribor, historical archives in Celje, uh, in Nova Gorica, in Koper, and the smallest one in Ptuj. Well, our archival institutions keep records which are created by, uh, by creators on the regional level in numerous different fields. So we, we uh, keep records from administration, judiciary, education, healthcare, economy, etc. So uh, lots of, of, uh, of documents which are created by uh, public institutions on the regional level. Just some more information about who we are, what we do. Uh, well, as I said, the, the land is uh, populated by only 2 million people and 177 of them uh, work in the archives. So 177 employees in all of the seven archives that are in Slovenia. And together we uh, store about 90, 90 linear kilometers of archival records on paper. This is just on paper. Uh, there are some, some records in digital form, but uh, not as much as we would wish uh, to have. Uh, well, these records that we keep are the subject of research in different fields, so for history, geography, architecture, uh, construction, etc. So there are more than 5,000 researchers who visit Slovenian archives every year, so for all seven archives. There are also more than 8,000 clients who visit us because they need a certified copy of an archival document for various legal or administrative reasons. So you can see we deal mostly with paper documents, but as we keep in 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 time in in step with time, uh, in the past years so we are working hard on implementing the electronic archives. Well, in 2009 we have started using the Swiss-made software for describing archival records, and since since then we have uh, recorded almost three million archival documents in the system. So there are 
three more than three million uh, description units already in the system. Uh, some of them, so a, a smaller quantity of them, have also a digitized copy of a document. So uh, the users who are searching through the database online can already see the image of the document in digital form. So with all, all of the information about the document and its digital image. Uh, so in, in such cases, the user does not need to visit the archival reading, reading room anymore, but can view the document from his or her computer. Well, in 2016, uh, we have started the eARC.csi project, which started with a mission to implement an efficient environment for appraisal, acquisition, processing, preservation, and access to the National Archival Heritage of the Republic of Slovenia in electronic form. So experts from all Slovenian archival institutions worked on this project and we can now say that this project the, the product uh, is organized in accordance with the OIS reference model and operates under its own organizational and informational infrastructure within the Slovenian public archival service and represents a safe reliable and legally coherent system for long-term preservation of electronic archival records in three geographically different locations well, that was just something in short about who we are and what we do. But since we are here today to talk about Fedora and its role in the project, I would like to give the podium to my colleague, Miran, who will tell you all about it. Thank you very much for uh, for opportunity to present uh, the Fedora repository in frame of the Slovenian Archival Public uh, Service. Dear colleagues, uh, my name is Miroslav Novak, and I have been working in the regional archive of Maribor for more than 35 years in a segment of using technology in everyday archival work. Among others, I'm also a member of the team for implementing the Slovenian public e-archive. Our directors, Nina, just uh, presented basic information about Slovenian archival public service. This is very important to understand our contemporary archival organization and of course related problems with needed sources to solve them. You know, if there is no people, there is no possibility to solve the problems. My task today is to present you some facts about the solution and solutions and concept of long-term preservation in Slovenian Public Archival Service with special focus to the Fedora repository. Uh, let's start this story like that. The first official information about existing of Fedora was, it, it was acquired in the year 2008. At this time, a special group of experts prepared a document with the title Feasibility Study for the Implementing of Long-Term Digital Preservation System for the Republic of Slovenia. In this document, we can read that Fedora is open source software, a robust, integrated repository-centered platform that enables the storage, access, and management of virtually any kind of digital record, uh, contents or records. That was quite important for us. But at that time, the Slovenian Public Archives implemented an archival information system based on Swiss product scopes archive, as Nina said before. There were two installations. One was set up in the archives of the Republic of Slovenia in 2008, the second installation was set up in six regional archives in Slovenia. This installation was finished at the end of the year 2009. But installed scope the archive had no ingest model because of that Fedora was not in our focus at that time. So what we need is that module. In the year 2012, scope archive developed first version of the scope ingest model. Three years after 2015-16, Slovenian archives already implemented the module ingest and repository integration in scope archive. With this upgrade, we also got the Fedora repository, and here start our story with, with, with Fedora. Both the databases have been linked to the Fedora because of that we could successfully develop and realize the first simple procedure of ingest of e -mat uh, archival material into the repository. At that time, we were focused on Fedora as a repository, of course, but 
special attention was given to the metadata sets to the standards, standard type of archival material, and of course, on the problem of proper and good description of archival material. In this context, Slovenian archivists got first practical skills and experiences about e-archiving. Soon, they noticed different problems and archival professional challenges. They arise not only on the level of information technology, uh, computers and so on, or communication, or tools, but also on the archival professional level. As I can remember, since we set up our repository, we have never problem with Fedora 3, probably because Fedora 3 was very stable and our packages were small and not demanding because we need just the process to develop. To solve detected archival and other problems, student archivists prepare a special document titled Strategy and Implementation Development Plan of Slovenian Electronic Archive for the years 2016-2020. A document was, was adopted by the government of the Republic of Slovenia and it, it gave a clear direction to the development of e-archiving in public archival service in Slovenia. From my point of view, uh, this document and all other things uh, around that document, the strategy and uh, related project, of course, gave us uh, in this period a lot of practical solutions, documents, procedure, guidelines, tools, etc., for practical needs for e-archiving of public e-documents. An important achievement of that strategy was also merging both databases this is into a single mutual database with one Fedora repository. This was important for future normalization of different methods for describing archival material and for creating content and context metadata structure according to professional standards. This goal was realized in the year 2020. In the year 2022, so last year, we upgraded Fedora 3 to Fedora 6. At the same time, we upgraded also the scope archive system. So, at this, let's say, very simple example, you can see or you can see the problem of independence of software solution that work as the system. Upgrading one subsys subsystem triggers a full chain of upgrade processes. And what is our current situation? If we put all together, then we can see that local area networks in individual archives are connected to the secure archival network of civilian public archival service. Access, access to that different mutual servers and other IT infrastructure is uh, uh, relatively fast and stable. It means that the infrastructure is so far so good. The answer to the question about use software is more complex. From the general point of view, we can say that Slovenian archives covers the whole OIS model, as Nina said before. Archival information packages are supported by the Scope Archive, Oracle, and Fedora. Submission information package packages could be created with the SIG Creator. The dissemination packages are accessible through the virtual archival reading room. Special system for authentication of users, backup system, system for control of the infrastructure, etc., etc., are integrated part of the Slovenian Digital Archive. Additional solutions like a system for supporting record management in the archives called CAPAM and system for supporting geo and audio or video data are also implemented, as you can see in the slide. As already told before, basic needs, tools for preparing and uh, using uh, stored data in Fedora are developed and they working as expected. Now we need solution for special types of archival materials like 3D the object, etc. Because of that, the new version of SIG Creator and Virtual Archival Reading Room are already in progress. To in to implement Fedora in the proper way as a long-term repository, all validations, writings, mappings, and other activities on the archival packages are documented in the work Look for Future Use. 
In that way, which, uh, with other policies and data management, we ensure the public capability of long-term stored ER tower contents in our system. On the screen is just a part of that, one of them block. This of my presentation, you could get the impression that everything in our house or repository is okay, but it is not like that. We have many challenges still, and we have uh, we are aware that some additional solution must be realized in a short time. Other activities we plan in the next future. Let's see some details. Our current, let's, let's say our current challenges are. In our case, we can expect a lot of different types of uh, account material in very different forms, formats, sizes, context, contact, contact, uh, contents, technolog technological environments, etc. Because of that, we need to know the basic limitation of the system. For example, at the moment, the maximal size of the uh, SIP uh, is currently about 20 gigabytes we can ingest. We wish to resize, to size this up to, let's say, 100 gigabytes. Probably we will need limitation up to several terab terabytes. The same, the same problem is with the number of files in the package. The current limitation is around 10,000 files. Probably is this not too, uh, too uh, is this uh, not enough? The next Open topics is referred to the system proper design and long term stability. In this context, is an important question about preservation action. For example, format changes due to obsolescence. We are striving to get enough information for decision and solutions on the decisions that will be solid for the, let's say, next several years. Our challenge is related also to the human resources, resources. Nina told how many people work in archives. The existing number of archivists is even not enough for supporting everyday archival professional work. On another hand, we need specialists for reading and understanding old documents in different languages like Latin, Old German, Hungarian, and so on. And we have diverse type of old uh, scripts, so it's also some challenge for us. On the other hand, we need programmers, system integrators, DB managers, etc. At the current time, we are covering some of those needs with outsourcing. But the question regarding the profile of the modern archivist in Slovenia and his skills stay open and we are seeking for solutions. To obtain much let's say, useful information as possible regarding the necessary additional tools and solution with which Fedora will truly become a trusted national archive repository, we have, we have organized ourselves into special working groups or teams. The project team leads and directs the art activities and verifies and approves the solutions. The Fedora team is tasked with the finding tools and solutions that would provide the expected long-term functionalities and solutions according to Slovenian archival law. The team for testing solutions and procedures check their adequacy, usability, stability, and makes suggestions for better solution, etc. And our future, future challenges may be just a few. Archivists in Slovenia are discussing a lot about long-term goal, goals regarding the repository. There are many different ideas. For this presentation, let us highlight only the need for better management and use of archival content from the Fedora repository with so-called artificial intelligence, for example. We also need tools to support the integrity of archi archival contents their context, characters, and content recognition, blockchain, or similar solution to better protect the integrity of preser uh, preserved e content, content etc. To summarize, control over the development of technology and changes in format for long-term storage, implementation of uh, 
advanced security policies, intelligent ways of capturing and using and preserving a kind of content, all those, all these are somehow our long-term challenges. And uh, let's go to conclusions. The Fedora repository is in the background of our system. In the foreground, foreground is the scope archive interface. Because of that, some people could get the impression that just scope archive is in our focus. But scope archive, Fedora repository, and Oracle uh, database are three equal pillars that are dedicated to the long-term support of Akava information packages in Slovenia. Today we know also that implementation of the Fedora e repository in the year 2015-16 represents an important step forward to the understanding of the management of electronic archival material in the Slovenian public archival service. That year we can define R also as the turning point of uh, and shift of the paradigm from storage on various, various media like CDs, DVDs, etc., to the paradigm for storage in the electronic repository. This development has huge impact to many other activities, such gathering finances, understanding and implementing technology in archival context, training, training the staff to be on current with new archival professional de development on the national and international level, etc. Let's conclude. The Fedora and all related activities have significant consequences for the perception not only the archival professional work, but also the requirements regarding the long-term storage of electronic archival material, changing the management procedure for this type of documents, and finally also the legal regulation of the uh, field of modern archival archiving in Slovenia. And at the very end of this presentation, I, I would like to thank Aaron, Dan Field, and Shelley Daron again for their support at the beginning of this year and for all the information that helped us in Slovenia to understand the Fedora 6 better. Any question or suggest, uh, suggestions are very welcome. No, or the, otherwise, on the site are our contacts and you can contact us. Thank you very much.